Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install the TeamCity on your Windows PC. Okay, so firstly, TeamCity is created by the ZBrain company. And there is a powerful continuous integration software. Okay, so for example, when you are working on a project, so when you finish and need new modules, so you will build the project by yourself manually. So after that, when we, you finish building it manually, so it will copy the code to the destination server for running or something like that. Okay, but today, TeamCity is fully support for you to do everything by automatically. Okay, so after you finish the coding, you just need to commit the code to some shortcode control, something like GitHub, uh, Bitbucket, and SVN. So after that, up once the code is committed to the source code control, so the team CVT will trigger a job to help you build the code. If we have any issue with the building, so it will notify the issue over the email for you. Otherwise, if we have no issue, it will send an email for you to the uh, to let you know the Build, the code building had been done with no issue. So after that, you can trigger another job to deploy the code to the server. That means indeed of doing any everything by the manually. So now you are you can do it by automatically. Okay. So here, in order to get the TeamCity setup file to the Windows PC, you go to zbrain.com slash TeamCT and on the navigation menu here you can see we have a get team ct button you will have to click on this it will direct you to the download page okay so here on the download page you are able to get the executable file for the window okay so for now i'm using the window so i'm get a window setup file otherwise if you are working on the linux or mac OS, you can go ahead to download this one. Okay, click on this. After that, it will take some minutes to get the file from server to the Windows PC. It is depending, it is depending on the, 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 the network. Okay, so here to save the time, I already download it to my PC. So now I've been using it for installing. Okay, here, this one is the Team City version 2017 2.1. This is the latest version for now. Okay, so now I go ahead to double click on this one to install the software. Click on it button to do the confirmation. Okay, click on next. I agree. So here you can change the destination folder which you want to set up the team city on the Windows PC here. Okay, you can change it to any destination folder. Next, you can click click on the show detail button here to see the activity when installing the software. Okay. So here, on this step, you have to select the port you want to running the, the service on the Windows PC. Okay, so now I will select another port because the port 80 here, I'm using another service on my PC. Okay, I will select the 99. Next. If easy, port E already, you buy another option, please to another. Okay, I will select another one, one, two, okay, this one is a configuration, configure, configure you, view, urgent property information, okay, so the server URL here, you will use this local hot, uh, and with part the one, two, and run is the circuit on the web browser. Okay. Okay. 
Oke, okay. klik on save button. Ya, yeah. the information has been saved into the view of the node property file under this path. Click on OK button. So here on this step, you have to select the account for server to running the service. Okay, because for now I'm running the, I'm installing the software on my local PC. So there are two options here. The first one, run Steam City server under system account. Yeah, and run Steam City server under the user account. Okay. So if you are installing the software on on or on a Windows server for the company, so you should select the, the the user account for running. However, because I'm running it on my Windows PC locally, so I can select the run under the system account. I will select the first option and click on next next button. Yeah. So the same thing here, we have to specify a, an user account to run DMCD or the service. I will select the under system account as well too. Next button. Let it by default. Next. Okay. So after that, it will open the URL on the Windows PC here. Okay, so this one is Team City first start. Okay, so on this step, because this one is the first first start for using the Team City, so you have to select a folder which will which will allow the user to save the server configuration setting, project definition, build result, and click on the this. Okay, so now I will select another folder. I don't want to put it to the C drive. Okay, Team City. I will create another folder here. Okay, I will name it either Data Directory. Okay, I will copy this one. Data directory repo. Okay. Team City. I will create sub for the inside it. Okay. I click on proceed button. Yes. So this one is the step you have to select the database connection step setup. So here we have some option for the internal proxies, SQL sequence server, my sequence server, Oracle, and uh, also my Microsoft SQL Server here. So now, if you you are going to set up the Team City on the server, so I suggest you should select some below database. However, here I'm running it locally, so I will select the internal option. Okay, I click on Proceed button here to continue process. Yeah. So here you can see it is creating something for the database for the first thing running. Okay, so here on this step you have to read the license agreement for ZBrain Team City. Okay, scroll it down. Click on the Accept License Agreement. Okay, so after that, click on Continue button. Okay, 
So on this step, you have to create an account for the administrator. Here I will provide the username for the administrator. Okay. Click on create account button. Save it. Yeah. So here, after that, it will direct you to the profile page. Okay. So here you have to provide some. You should provide some the general information for the name. Okay, I will provide it. And the email. Okay, UI setting highlight my train in event. So the time in my zone. Okay. Okay, save chain. Cool. So here, this one is okay. I will go through something here. This one is the dashboard for getting started with Team City. Click on create project here to create a new project, and I will do it in another video later. Okay, project. For now, we have no project. Chances, no chances. Urgent. Yeah. For now, we have one urgent in Chien Viet PC. This one is my window PC. Okay. BQ no one for now. Okay. This one is a user profile information. You can do some the setting for the for the tool or also do the log out. And click on administration here to manage or do some of the configuration for the the, the, the team city. Okay. Nothing here. Global setting. Keep on thing e by default for now. Okay, so now click on user profile and click on my setting and tune. Okay, you can see here on the right hand we have Team City Tune. Okay, so now I will focus into the Window Tray Notifier. Okay, so what is this? You can click on the question mark here to see the to to, to see some the description for this one. Window Tray Notifier. E a utility which allows the monitoring the status of the specific view configuration in the system tray via pop-up alerts and status icon. Okay. So here I will help you to install this one. You click on this one to download. Okay. I will cancel this one. Click on this one to install the add-in. Next. I accept the term in the license agreement. Okay. Next. Install. Yes. Okay. Finish. Yeah, so after that, you can see here a new icon for the ZBrain Team City Trade Notifier has been added into the, 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 the taskbar here. Okay, click on this one. Yeah, so firstly, you have to provide the Team City URL. So here, I will copy this URL. Very here. Okay. Provide the username and password to 
log in to the same to the sim team city. Okay. I will create the I will provide the admin password and account. Log in. Yeah, you can see here when you hover, you can see we have some information. The server is local hot with the part is one two. The build status is unknown. Right click it to see the menu. Okay, you click on run on startup here. So that means after you reset the window PC or shut down it. So when you open the window PC again. It will automatically set start this one. Okay. Open in window here. So here, if we have, if we do the configuration for any notification for the specified uh, project, so if if we trigger any activity for the build, so it will display the alert on the window PC over the system tray here. Okay, so I will do it in another video later. And for now, let's go ahead to close this one. Okay, so here we have another Team City tool, and I will install it later. You can also also download it for the Visual Studio Eclipse syndication feed and enter the platform plugin okay project yeah so I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to install the Team City there is the powerful continuous integration software provided by the ZBrain okay so hope this video will be helpful for you and do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and talk to you later.